Good morning. It's Monday, November 30th. The time is 1041. And tonight we've got clear skies. As I've mentioned before in the space video, uh, I'm trying to get into astrophotography. It's a good time. It's really painstaking. I started trying to do this hobby in like September. It's November and I've gotten two successful runs. And tonight, I think I have what it takes to do a really good one. I hope. I know, I know. I'm making another video about space. But I like space. I'm sorry. <laughs> Nevertheless, this, um, this series that I'm starting isn't going to be about my adventures in the nighttime. It's also going to be general vlog stuff. If there's some kind of an adventure that happens, then I'll record that and probably make a video out of it. I'm planning on using this thing, which is a motorized mount that can counteract the rotation of the stars. You can see it has a nice little control pad here. I'm gonna stick this camera onto here. It's gonna be using this gizmo, which is 3D printed. Well, hang on. These parts are 3D printed, and this part just came from the head of a really cheap tripod that someone gave me a while ago. Combined, they make a thing that can attach the camera into this dovetail mount, like so. You might think that a 3D printed mounting system like this is kind of weak. In my experience, it's been fine. It hasn't broken yet, and if it does break, I can just 3D print a new one. So yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to be trying to take pictures of the Andromeda Galaxy. You know, long exposures, longer than like two seconds. T two seconds. <laughs> I'll see you guys tonight. It is 5.47. We'll be leaving shortly. You guys want to see his house? You want to see his ad? Andrew! Depolized on both sides so it's not hard to open the doors. Ben? <laughs> Alright. Ben! Hold on, before we... Hey guys, it's me from the future. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that um, I didn't really record that much while I was actually up at our location. The reason why is because it was cold. <laughs> there was way too much to focus on. Astrophotography is a very involved process, and I did not want to record myself fumbling around with all of my gear. So basically what happened is I spent a little over an hour, I think, trying to um, set up 
the mount so that it was tracking the stars and so that it was pointing at Andromeda. I had a lot of difficulty trying to find Andromeda for some odd reason. And um, once I did, I had to focus on Andromeda. And I have a thing for focusing. It's called a Botanoff mask. It creates interference patterns with starlight. Basically, there were no stars in the region for me to use that on. So I had to kind of just guess at the right focus, which wasn't a good idea, which you'll later find out. I did record a little bit, so here's what I have of the trip. Sorry for hitting the mic. All right, so you can't see anything except the moon because like that's all you can look at. But uh, we're here, we're taking pictures. That's the city, the glow of the city over there. This red light and this laptop is the setup. And that is what Andromeda looks like. Taking 10 second pictures. Doesn't look like much now. Things will change. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can't see anything. Yeah, it's it's blind. Stefan's here. They're screaming. <laughs> There's the lighthouse. If you can hear the laughter. And Stefan and Ahmed reunited. How's your drive, they say. How's your drive, they say. It's a full moon out, which kind of fucks with the uh, pictures. But it makes it really easy to see things from you. Not for you, though. You're so blind. There's not a lot of things that take energy out of you as much as staying outside in the cold, manipulating things. <laughs> Overall, it was awesome. It was, it was a good time. It's time to look at the images. Guys, it's not good. <laughs> I can't believe this. I was out of focus. I was out of focus. The entire time, I was out of focus. I mean, I... So here's the picture. Here's, here's the stacked image of Andromeda. I mean, it, it looks pretty nice from here. I haven't done any um, processing on this at all. And I mean, it looks cool, but it's, it's, there's no, there's not enough detail. There's not enough detail because I was just... Oh, <laughs> I've zoomed in. Look at these stars. Um, the lens produces coma, which if we go to a different picture, so this is a picture I took in my backyard. It's one picture, not stacked. And if we zoom in to the stars, it's, it's more like a, like a badminton, whatever the hell it's called. I don't know. I don't know, man. I screwed up. But here's the thing. It's currently 12 AM. Uh, it's now December. Hooray. It's actually 12.01. There's still some clear skies left. There's a couple hours left. That was a really energetic expedition, really fun, but this is a really unsatisfactory result, just only in terms of the image. And I really want to go back out there once the camera battery is fully charged and do this again. No computer, just taking pictures with the camera. All I have to do is take my time and then I can be successful. Let's try it again. So we're out here for round two, and the moon is right above us. <laughs> so it's been a few hours, and what that means is Andromeda is now in a pretty nice position for me to just take pictures of it right here on my deck. Alright, so I just went through the alignment process. 
and that's the camera screen. This is the boy. It's pointing at Andromeda. It's actually pointing at Andromeda now, which is amazing. I'm gonna take a quick 20 second exposure to show you guys what it looks like. There it is. I know that was a quick look. Um, here it is on screen right now. Magical. All right, I'm just gonna take a bunch of pictures and um, I'll meet you guys inside. Alright, so I just came back in from outside. It's like 1 a.m. now. Um, I got a lot of pictures. I got 50 pictures of Andromeda at 20 seconds, as I said. If I end up producing a picture that's better, I'm just gonna say light pollution is a lie. <laughs> I'm cautiously optimistic about the pictures I took. They're at least in focus. There might be a little bit too much light pollution in them, but they're at least in focus. I think. I didn't actually look at them. I'm about to go get a shower. Uh, I'll review the pictures when I'm done. See that? Those are images stacking. Okay, so I just stacked all of the um, backyard pictures and um, I kind of like it. It's nice. You can actually see some of the darkness um, running around it. Those are the dust streams that I keep talking about. I'm hoping I'll be able to take this image file into GIMP, clean it up, make, maybe make it look super nice. Even when pictures look like this, you can do some magical things with them. You just gotta know how. All right, so it's the next day. I'm just processing the pictures of Andromeda I got in my backyard, and it's looking pretty good. Um, what you should be seeing right now along with my face is a video of me going through and basically following a tutorial to process the picture. So far I'm happy with it. Thank you. 